So I was desperate to film this Daenerys Targaryen video for you and at the end of this video I'll show you a quick once over of how I have made the costume as well. All of the products that I've used, where I bought the wig from and where I bought my material from and my little dragon head I will link in the description box below for you. So let's see how I created this look. So what they use on the show is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is going to be way too dark for my skin colour at the moment. So I'm taking the YSL Touche Eclat and I'm just chucking this on, oh, apparently all over myself, on a beauty blender. I'm going to try my best not to get this all over the hair. I do need to glue down the corners of the wig because it, this is an absolute, it's so tight, it's a nightmare to put on. But let's just see what we can do. Oh, and I've got fluff in my hair as well. I'm blending that down a little bit, but I'm not going too wild because the coat sort of comes up here. I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Contour, and I'm just going to use the darker side for this. It's a nice, cool tone. And my face is a lot longer than her, so I'm going to try and do this to make my face look a little bit wider. So I'm going to come across. Instead of going to the top of my ear, I'm going to go to the middle of my ear. I'm also making my nostrils a little bit wider by colouring in the total underneath of my nose and then blending in all of the contour using my fingers. I've also placed a little bit of contour on the edges of my chin just to bring a little bit of shape back into the face. I'm now using the Tarte Shape Tape to bring back some light into the face and to try and shape my head, nose, lip and chin to look a little bit more like her. Normally come in quite far to my nose and then just have a really thin lined contour but her nose she's got more of a shadow coming from the middle of the nose out so I'm going to leave that and make sure I contour that well. I'm going to make the bridge of my nose a little bit thicker by spreading the white and then using some RCMA powder I'm just going to set right underneath the eyes with that. I'm also going to pop that on the chin I'm then going to use the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette for this and I am probably going to use this colour here. This feels as if it's the coolest colour. And instead of coming straight down from the top of my ear, I'm going to kind of create like a more of a triangle shape. So you've got more of that um, contour coming across. So we're going up and across for this. my forehead I'm just going to warm this up a little bit just on the outer part. I'm really going to try and widen my nose a little bit now just bringing that shadow quite wide I'm just taking a thinner brush to create more of a nostril shape then creating quite a dark bit around the eyes here. Really pushing that in. I'm also going to take that same colour right underneath where my eyeball ends here. Just make my eyes appear rounder. Okay, I'm going to get my brows filled in before I carry on. So I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz for this. And her brows are a lot thicker than mine are, and I normally thick on mine up, but you go a little bit more wild today. And I'm not going to make them as dense either. I'm going to set the rest of the face using a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And I'm taking the smallest amount of natural blush. I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is a Ben Nye blush. I'm going to bring this quite low. And across the nose as well. Just widens it a little bit more. So we're going to join this colour up with the nose contour and bring it all the way across. So I'm just skipping that lid space and coming right across the crease 
leaving very little space. I'm going to go in with a Lancome eyeliner. I'm just going to smudge this um, right close to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to smudge this all the way across the top. Before I apply the mascara, I am going to spray the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a really important one to make sure it looks like skin again. <laughs> so for the lashes, I'm going to use the Volume Million Lashes. The reason I'm using this is because I find it really spreads it. The bottom lashes too, just making sure I don't get any clumps. And finally for lips, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Pencil. And I'm not going to really line the lips with this, but I'm just going to colour in my lips just to create a more natural look. And to make my bottom look a little bit bigger, I'm taking that same colour just underneath the lip. I'm going to highlight using the white highlighter just on the top of the lip. To make it appear a little bit bigger. I don't feel that my lips are there enough, so I am going to add um, a pink lipstick and then go over that with more of a sort of nudie tip type lipstick on top. Now I'm going to take some more eyelash glue. I really should have brought wig glue, guys. I'm going to try and stick this down. For the hair then, I've taken two plaits going over the back of the head and secured these and wrapped the hair around and did the same thing slightly lower. This is then a curtain hook which I just tacked onto the side of the coat which is threaded onto a chain. I've then sewn a long sleeve crop top together with splits at the side and lined just the sleeves with fur and then created a sleeveless coat with fur down the centre. I then just used a carabiner to hold the red material and placed the pin on top. On the side of the sleeveless jacket I have popped in some shoulder pads and sewn some poppers in the front. These trousers then are from Primark but I've linked similar below and I've also linked the boots that I was wearing too. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope it was helpful in some way for you. And if you're going to get these same things, I will link them in the description bar below for you. But thank you so much for watching guys. I will catch you in the next one and speak to you all soon.